back at Ty Jung's Intercontinental Baseball Stadium. Game number one of the 2023 World Baseball Classic just about set to begin as Cuba and the Netherlands square off in the first WBC game in six years. There is the right-handed starter, Tom DeBlock for the Netherlands. And Ryan, he's missing up high a lot early. You have to factor in nerves in this situation. First time in six years being on this stage. Back-to-back -back walks to lead off this game for Cuba. First and second, nobody out for Luis. Robert Jr. got it on the off speed and Robert gone on strike so the back-to-back -back walks and the block able to fight back without number one Tom the block would love a ground ball here bases loaded and one out here in the top of the first ground ball out to short could be the job that Tom the block needed and the 6-4-3 wraps up a first inning threat for Cuba the block survives Ariel Rodriguez he has been a stud in Japan pitching for the Junichi Dragons. Leadoff man for the Netherlands is the, I think it is fair to say, shockingly unsigned. Here's a oh. Profar goes pitching and gone for out number one and strikeout number one for Yariel Rodriguez, one of the superstars in the game of baseball, Xander Bogart, and a pulp strike three will set down Bogart for out number two here in the bottom of the first. So that'll bring in Sir Didi, Didi Gregorius swing and a tapper right side and Rodriguez hopping off the mound does it all himself to bring us to the close of one. Arupa Reina, by the way, in his pro days, we knew him as Rizbel. He is written on the lineup card for this Cuba squad as well. This ball is hammered in the air to center field. Bernadina giving a chase back to the warning track and he'll call it in. We're out number two in the second. And this is going to be the story once you get in that sixth, seventh inning for the Netherlands. Down the right field line, that's a fair ball, and that's going to be extra bases into the corner for Yadil Mujica as Guibert flying around third base is getting the wave in there, and Cuba is on to the board with the first run of the 2023 World Baseball Classic and a 1-0 lead in the second. This ball just left out of the plate. No one feel to stop in this. And that deep pod into right field. Plenty of time for that base runner to score on this. Simmons, another guy who right now is at a fascinating place in his baseball life. Last year played 34 games for the Chicago Cubs. Talk about that aggressiveness. Andrelton Simmons and that way up high, but strikeout number three for Rodriguez. So with two out and two on, the task now falls to Chadwick Trom. Got a great pitch on two and two from Yariel Rodriguez. His day may be coming to a close in two pretty stellar innings. Peter Gregorius in 2017 and 2018, he got MVP votes in the American League. An OPS of 796, also played with the Phils in 2020, but re-signed a two-year deal after that as he flares this one out over the head of the leaping Aruba Reina and down and left, and it's a two-out RBI single for Didi Gregorius, and the Netherlands has its first run of the 2023 Classic. We're all tied up. Didi Gregorius, good piece of hitting. Two strikes, not trying to do a whole lot. Flaring that ball into left field, tying this game up. Jonathan Scope broke in with Baltimore back in 2013. Some time with the Milwaukee Brewers in 2018. Currently with the Detroit Tigers after a stint in Minnesota. And he's gone on strike to end things here in the third. And also hearing the guys just hearing just the noise the ball made, how explosive it was, and watching him do his thing in the major leagues was fascinating. You know, I was going to say tough play left side. No play is a tough play for Xander Bogarts, and that's the second out of the fifth inning. Great stretch over there at first by Gregorius as well. Yeah, and then you have a natural shortstop over there at first base with the stretch. It'll be the bread and butter for these pitches from the Netherlands. Get that weak contact. It's going to get gobbled up all day, especially that left side of the infield. Stay up the middle, get that runner in from scoring position. Shift restrictions for Major League Baseball in 2023 do not apply here in the Classic. So we will see shifting like we would have seen last year as Mikata flies out in foul territory to Simmons, and that will end the Cuba threat here in the top half of the fifth inning. So here is Josh Palacios with two men aboard for the Netherlands. You know, this Netherlands squad has got to be feeling a little bit frustrated with the hit total that they put on the board compared to Cuba, and not as though it's egregious, but they've got four of the five hits in this game. Cuba only has the RBI double as that one foul tip into the glove, and Nick Lentz asking for help to see if that one skipped into the glove of Lorenzo Quintana. Quintana frustrated, but that'll go as a foul of the dish. This is a really good changeup with two strikes. Oh, yeah. it looked like got maybe inside the glove. We're gonna do it all over again. Big moment right here in this game. One-one here in the sixth. And Lorenzo Quintana is he's the type of guy you want to have back there. He is fighting for every strike and every out. And the pitch is grounded up the middle. And that'll scoot off through for a base hit. Around third comes Gregorius. And the Netherlands has its first lead in the 2023 Classic. It's 2-1 in the sixth. We talked about every pitch counting. You look at this and you do not want that. This is just enough. 
We talk about some of these balls sneaking through, getting inside the foul lines. This is a situation for the Netherlands. Just enough to break this game. Chadwick Trump, you want to get this out. You do not want to turn this lineup back over to have Profar, Bernardino, Bogarts. Here is sets, one, two. Flared out to shallow center. On rushing is Robert. That'll drop in front of him in plate two. In to score easily from third is Scope. Palacios in from second. A two out, two run single for Chadwick Trump out of the nine spot. And the Netherlands breaking things open. It's a four to one lead. It's a big spot for Mujica. He went down the right field line with his RBI double in the second in this situation. That'll get one across for Cuba. It's an RBI ground out for Yadil Mujica. Jonathan Scope puts him away. Cuba draws one closer, cashing in its second hit of the game for its second run, and it's four to two in the seventh. So the seven and nine hitters, the two guys coming through today for Cuba, Joaquin Skiber reaching on one out walk in the second, coming around two batters later on Mujica's RBI double, and then a leadoff double for Giber here in the fourth, RBI ground out for Mujica, and Final out of this seventh inning. Off the bat of Ruel Santos. Luis Robert Jr., who has started his day with three straight Ks. And this ball, Robert crushes this one into the alleyway in left center. That's extra bases. One hop off the wall. Luis Robert Jr., welcome to the Classic. His first base hit, a one-out double in the eighth. And that's just a situation you're just trying to do too much or do just a little bit more than the pitch prior to that. A big league hitter like Luis Robert Jr. will make you pay for it. Two gone in the eighth. Brings up the catcher, Lorenzo Quintana. That one into the dirt. Trump able to get to it. Back in behind Robert. Got him in second. What a job by Chadwick Trump. Luis Robert is looking over to the third base dugout to try to get some help, and they will review this. And Armando Johnson wants another look at this to see if he can save this threat in the eighth. Robert contending he got that right foot in before the tag. I think that tag is on him just before the right spike gets the bag at second. This is a huge spot, and out at second base is the call on the review. So Luis Robert Jr. is retired. Wendell Florin has taken over the Willemstad Curacao native will try to close out win number one for the Netherlands. Listen, this guy, you talk about a guy who is in a situation right now. This is a huge game. The two favorites, Cuba, Netherlands, coming into this. The pitching has been outstanding. I said, this is the one question mark. What are you going to see from these guys? Crazy thing is this Cuba offense has been largely held at bay. Bouncing ball back up the middle, snared at short. Bogarts, the 360, and the Netherlands opens things up with a day one win. And that day one win, you mentioned how important it is. All smiles in the dugout, on the field. Your confidence, your energy just goes through the roof. Anchored by that man right there, Xander Bogarts. What a start in this 2023 World Baseball Classic, and we are just getting started.